What's new in Loop? It's something that we've been looking for for some time, uh, and it is our first step towards being able to create custom templates within the Loop app, and that is being able to duplicate a page. It appeared in this demo tenant uh, in this area that I was demonstrating how to bring a coffee equipment business into, into market. So it's a project, and we come up with some patterns about how we work. We use tasks uh, and pages to represent those tasks. We might capture ideas on these pages and we've got repetitive ways that we're doing this. So I've created a, a page at the bottom of the workspace called templates, just something to keep it all together and I'm using sub pages to create the copy of the page that I want to reuse. And here's an example of the tasks and deliverables page. This is where we can use a page to gather everything together and coordinate work on the task. So it's got things like the due date, who's working on the task, so I can pick out someone like Matt, for example, um, and I can uh, select the progress, different flags and things to be able to, to set there just at the top of the page. I've got a brief about what is this task about, supporting references so that you can paste links in there, where we might capture ideas, uh, links to those uh, deliverables and drafts that we're finalizing and finishing so that people can find where the actual deliverable is in terms of that task. So this is a template, and that means I don't want to be able to assign everything to Matt every time. How am I going to use this? Well, I will go to the three dots, the overflow menu beside the page, and now we have an option called duplicate. I will choose duplicate. It duplicates the page. It actually is now above or at the top of this sub pages list. So keep, keep in mind that is your duplicate. And you can see where I am on the page. I'll now drag it up into the section where I actually use this. So that might be one place to, to do this. Maybe I could also um, bring this template up here and maybe appropriately label it so that it is, uh, let's say, the star template. So that the template is now part of the section where I, where I plan to reuse it and repurpose it. Uh, so what, what is the, uh, the task? Well, the task here, it's ready and available for me to fill out and use as part of the team. I can start setting a due date. I can, you know, assign those tasks to people. I can list people there and I can step through filling out this page. So can you see the potential there for us to be able to use this um, fantastic feature as a first step towards creating our own custom templates? Of course, we need to be able to duplicate a page, right? Uh, so this is great. Now keep in mind when you are duplicating regular pages that um, the different uh, assignments or people that we might have mentioned uh, will be on the page. So think about that. You might be reassigning content to people. Um, but yeah, I think it's great. Fantastic to be able to see this. So coming to your tenant soon, if you are using Microsoft Loop and the Loop app, uh, you'll have duplicate page. Fantastic. Let me know what you think about this. And if you're keen on more kind of content like this, or if you need some help to bring this into your, um, your business, your organization, then contact me. I'll be able to work with you to coach up and um, mentor some of uh, your teams and people into how we use tools in Microsoft 365 like Microsoft Loop. See you again soon. Bye for now.